Hi, my students. I just wanted to give you um, a quick overview of what to do on this uh, two-week sky watching assignment. So you're going to be doing this every single night and don't flip out even on the weekends, even Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so this is going to be scored for standard number one about um, being able to make good observations in a science setting. And so the, it's going to be not very time consuming at all what has to be done nightly. So if you check out this chart from tonight, the 27th, to Monday the 11th of May, you are going to be going out every night and you're going to be looking for the moon. And I want you to take a picture of the moon and then insert it into that box. That's it. Now let's say that you would rather than taking pictures, just like on a scratch piece of paper, make this chart or you know just put the date in your drawing of what you see. I'm fine with that if you don't want to take pictures and put them in here. You can then just take a picture of your paper and then link that on Google Classroom for me. But after we do 15 nights of moon observations, oh gosh, I forgot to tell you, the reason we're starting this now is when we solve the mystery of the dying fish, our final unit together this year is the one many of you been, have been waiting for, and that is astronomy. So I wanna get you started watching the sky a bit in the next couple weeks before we start formal lessons on it. So anyway, you're taking pictures for 15 nights of the moon, or you're just sketching it and taking a picture of your sketches. And then you're gonna answer just three questions at the end of those 15 days. Does the moon look the same every night? And then describe the pattern you notice. And then I understand this is an inference. Why do you think this pattern occurs? Like, what do you think the scientific explanation is? It is okay if you don't get that right. We'll be doing lessons about it, but I want you to take your best guess. Now, every night it's watching the moon. I want you guys to find one perfect night. And I'll send you little reminds when it's supposed to be a clear night, like it's a good night to do your stargazing. You only have to do this once, although certainly you could do it multiple times. And so here's what you're going to be doing. It says there are many free or inexpensive apps to help you identify stars, constellations, and even planets. I, I use Skyview Light or Night Sky, um, and you can download those from the App Store. But also, when you click on this website, there will be um, like a sky wheel there, and you can change the time on it. I already have it set to our location, so you can use that if you don't want to put an app on your phone. So here's what you're going to do on a very clear night. You're going to go outside, and you're going to take pictures of things that you see in the night sky, which probably will be stars, although in some cases it might be a planet, or constellations, you know, those pictures, those stars that make pictures with myths myths. And so I want you then to take your pictures and try to put them in the correct spot on this box. So what do I mean by that? If you think of the center of the circle as the spot right above your head while you're sky watching, and then this is going to be the horizon in all directions. So north, south, west, and east. So if it's low in the sky, it's going to be drug toward this area. If it's high in the sky, it's going to be towards the middle. Just do your best with those directions. I would bet a lot of you would have family members that would like to sky watch with you. It might help you to be able to put your pictures in the right spot. But let me give you another option. If you just want to take a piece of paper and draw a big circle and sketch what you have, then take a picture of your actual um, paper and link that to Google Classroom, that is perfectly fine too. So don't feel like you have to do this on the computer if you want to do both your moon observations and do your one night of sky watching. Um, on paper. Just make sure you note the date and the time and also the sky conditions. Do not go out there on a totally cloudy rainy night and tell me you couldn't see anything, right? It's possible on a moon night, right? You look at the moon, eh. You go out an hour later, still don't see it. You can type not visible there, but you're going to see enough of the moon, I would hope, through these uh, two weeks or so that you'll see a pattern. Do not pick a totally cloudy night and tell me you saw nothing, right? Plan ahead and get a night when you can really star watch. So, of course, feel free to text, email, or call me if you are confused about how to do your sky observations, and I hope you will enjoy getting the fresh air and uh, seeing the beauty of nature.